Hey everybody, it's Herman Williams here, and it's time for my annual Masters Practice Round Highlights. It's uh, April 6th, it's Monday, 2015. Here we are making our way through the ticket gate and on our way to the golf course. Um, walking here right by the practice range, we're going to make our way up to the bleachers and see who we can see warming up this morning. I'm here, it's just a little after 7 a.m. right now. Great weather, it's uh, low, temper low 60s right now for temperature. Although it looks like we got nobody here to practice. It's uh, Martin Keimer over here on the far right side of the range warming up. I think I'll leave here and just go to the golf course. So I've made my way up to number one. We'll see Keimer teeing off here. It's 8 o'clock. First guy out. Got a good ball there up the left side. Waiting for some more groups now. We've got uh, Graham McDowell and Thomas Bjorn. Looks like Thomas Bjorn will be first to tee off here. It looks a little dark on the screen. It's kind of cloudy here. There's a threat of some rain today, but hopefully the weather will hold off. I'm using kind of a high shutter speed on the camera, which makes it look a little darker also. But hopefully if we get a little sun through the clouds, it'll lighten up. The images will look good. I'll mix in a few slow motion swings occasionally. I did a lot of slow-mo last year. I'm going to kind of keep things rolling just regular speed this year. And here we've got Graham about to tee it up right here. First hole is 445. Um, the marker that you're seeing them tee off from has moved a little upward. You'll see guys tee off in a lot of different spots, though. But to give you a reference, it's 276 to the front of the bunker on the right, like 311 to carry it. Here we've got Byron Meth. He's 22 years old, U.S. Public Links champion, amateur. I think we'll put his swing in slow-mo here. We'll just watch him here. He's going to be playing as a single today, it looks like. Pretty good looking mechanics. We'll see how he does. That's a good ball. High. Kind of down the left center, left edge of the fairway up there. So he's off to a good start for the week. Okay, here we've got a kind of marquee group here. You can see it on the caddy's name badge there. We've got Rory McElroy coming up. He's uh, looks like he's going to be with Bradley Neal. Uh, Bradley's from Scotland. He's a British amateur champion. A lot of buzz this week about Rory. Uh, currently world number one. Of course, Tiger's making his comeback. That's going to be the one we all look for here at some point today. Hopefully he'll play. Not real sure. Tiger sometimes will skip it sneak out real early or real late. So Bradley's going to tee off first here. Okay, that ball looked like it went up the left side, but I think it cut back right to the center. It's a good looking ball. Probably about 290 out there. That's a pretty good ball in this weather. I mean, it's still kind of chilly. You can see Rory's chosen to wear sleeves here. That's huge. Yeah, he seems like he hits it higher than everybody in the field. Yeah, that's out there, 300 plus up on the top of the hill. We've got Adam Scott up here now. Adam's a 2013 Masters champ. Things are kind of slow paced here on Mondays. It's um, not a whole lot of guys playing yet. A lot of guys going off as singles or twosomes. Looks like Adam's just going to go solo here. Yeah. Cut. I'm not sure where that went. I thought maybe he hit that in the bunker. I, I don't know if he pulled it in the left trees or the bunker when it's Looking through a viewfinder, I can't tell. where This is a mulligan here. We'll catch this in slow motion. That looks a little better there. Yeah, that's that's pretty deep up the fairway there. That's in play. That's the one he wants to use during the week, I'm sure. They were probably too off to go back. 
Okay, that guy doesn't need an introduction. Ricky Fowler coming up on the tee now. And Morgan Hoffman, 25-year-old, playing in his first Masters. Jim Furyk. Starting to get some action up here now. Sun's popped out. Uh, it's out now actually about 9.30. Been waiting up here for about an hour and a half. That's uh, Eric Compton. And looks like uh, we've got more guys coming up maybe. Walker. So, okay, there's Jimmy Walker. So I don't think they're going to let a fivesome go out here. I'm not sure how these guys are going to. Break up. Obviously, Furyk's going to go ahead and hit. Oh, that's a good ball. Nice and high, dead straight. So I guess Eric Compton's going to play with Furyk. Good ball. Okay, apparently they're going to go as a twosome, and the other three guys will play behind them here, so... No five sums yet. Ricky and Morgan comparing drivers there. All right, so I guess Ricky's going to lead this group. Had a great season last year. Top player in all of the majors last year. Boy, he just smokes that. For his size, Ricky gets it out there with anybody. Now Morgan. Yep. That's out there beside the bunker. Ricky's ball's up by the bunker, probably a little over 300, a little bit of a draw. This is Angel Cabrera, champion from 2009. Oh, yeah. Kind of a low pull with a little cut right up the gut. <laughs> Guess this twosome here. We've got uh, Chris Kirk and Brendan Todd. Go ahead and put Brendan's swing here in slow motion. This is first Masters. Just got a real good camera angle here. We can't always get a perfect angle, so when I can get it really straight down the line, got good sunlight, we'll slow mo a few of these swings. You can see the ball take off a little better. Boy, big limber free turn there. Ooh, yeah. Crowd likes it, obviously. Okay. Different entrance here. Here's Jordan Spieth coming up through the front of the tee. We're starting to get a lot of activity up here on the top of the hill now. It's now about 11.15. So it looks like he's going to be joined by, yep, there's Keegan Bradley. And I hear Zach. Okay, Zach Johnson coming up. Looks like we're going to have Brian Harmon in here also. So we'll get Keegan here, slow mo. Must have gone a little right. Now, Jordan Spieth, fresh off, just uh, lost in a playoff, I guess, yesterday just uh, left Houston and came right here. We'll catch him in slow motion here as well. He's put together a great career in a hurry for such a young guy. See most of these players kind of set up aiming down the left side, trying to hit a slight cut. 
the bunker on the first hole is pretty much a hazard. It'd be pretty hard to get out of there. It's kind of deep. It's kind of split in half by a little um, mound of kind of turf that runs through it. So you definitely don't want to get in that bunker. Looks like a good one up there. Okay, lefties now got, uh, yeah, okay, Mike Weir. Then Brian Harmon is also left-handed. It's his first Masters. In fact, he won the John Deere last year and beat out Zach. And I guess now we've got Zach playing golf with him. So I've got Zach right here. Yeah, there's a veteran. Just hit a bullet right up the middle. A little bit lower flight than a few of the other guys. Okay, here's Ben Crenshaw playing in his final Masters, uh, if we believe all the press. 44 Masters appearances. He's now 63 years old. And we've got Jerry Pate out here, too. I guess maybe he's a non-competing invitee. I think that's the category they might give it. And then we've got James Hahn here, 33-year-old uh, who just won uh, earlier this year, playing in his first Masters. Looks like Crenshaw is going to lead the way here. This first hole is a pretty big hit here. It's like... Like I said, 276 to the front of the bunker. Um, you got to get about 290 just to get up the hill and get up where it starts to flatten out a little bit. Now Jerry Pate, really competitive player back in the 80s. U.S. Open winner. Now James Hahn representing the younger bunch here. Yeah, I think all these guys went a little right. <laughs> I think he's joking with Crenshaw right there. He led the way for all of them. Ian Poulter here. Yeah, that's a bullet dead center up there. Be right up beside the bunker. Okay, this is Gun Yang, U.S. amateur champion. South Korean, 21 years old. We'll go ahead and work his swing in slow motion. Yeah, okay, good looking ball. Young limber back. A little bit of a power cut, kind of left center. I think you'll like that start of the week. Okay, we've got Gary Woodland right here, big power hitter. John Sinden going to join him. Sinden hitting first here. Sinden's from Australia. Yeah. This is Kevin Streelman. Here we've got uh, South African contingent up on the two. Got a bunch of guys up here now. There's Webb Simpson. I guess Bubba is going to be right behind these guys. Got Ben Martin up here. Looks like uh, Charles Schwartzel and uh, Brandon Grace and Louis, Louis Oosthuizen are going to play. So Webb's going to lead off. Not sure how these groups are breaking up. Guess Webb's group will go first here. Now Ben Martin playing his second Masters. His first time was in 2010 as an amateur. And now our past champ, Bubba. This should be interesting. <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay. Started it out over the tree in the bunker. A little cut on it. Got it over the bunker, way up in the flat of the fairway. Definitely longest ball of the day. Here's Charles Schwartzel, past champion, long hitter too. See aiming down the left side. We'll slow-mo him. Just smooth as silk. Bunch of good swings in this group. Louis Oosthuizen. Uh, I complimented him too soon. That looks like it's in the bunker. And now Brendan Grace. 
Louie's going to hit a mulligan here. We can slow mo this smooth swing. Yeah, that's better. A couple of marquee groups here to watch. These are all good, good looking players to get out there. We'll probably get out to the golf course here at some point. Got Bernard Longer here. He's got two green jackets in his closet somewhere. He's got his arm taped up there, but big year last year on the senior tour. Jeff Ogilvy here from Australia, 2006 U.S. Open winner. Here we've got Miko Ilanen from Finland. This is Kevin Stadler. Here we've got Bill Haas. Bill shot 68 last year in the first round to have the lead. Let's see if what he can do this year. Okay, I've moved off the tee. This is over by 18th green. This is Charlie Hoffman over here hitting a few pitch shots. Just want you to think about if you had to hit this pitch on uh, Sunday to win the tournament. Look where this thing goes. Up here in the middle of the green. And this is going to roll. He's already hit a couple of these, so I know what it does. It's going to roll nearly 40 feet straight to the right. Imagine that pin sitting down there on the Sunday position. All right, I'm going to walk down the hill here. We'll get down to maybe number three and seven, somewhere in that area. This is John Sinden. This is actually the eighth tee on my way to three. Gary Woodland. Look how hard he goes at that. This is Webb Simpson. He's actually teed this ball up in front of number seven green. He's just kind of goofing around here trying to hit a pitch up there. All right, we're on the three tee box now. That's Jason Duffner, actually. Charles Schwartzel here on number eight, par five. Yeah, good looking ball. Louis Eusteisen. Same hole, number eight. And now joining them is uh, Henrik Stenson came over. He played the first two holes and then walked all the way over here to tee off on eight. So he's recovering from the flu. I think he's just going to shorten his round today. Oh, you wouldn't know he's recovering from anything with that. He just flew all those guys. <laughs> he's walking off the tee. He started flexing his muscles there to those guys. Big hit. I'm at the 10th green now. I'm making my way back up the hill. I want to see if Tiger shows up this afternoon. This is Yang just hitting a few putts down here on the 10th green. Just look how small this stroke is, how smooth it looks, and just how easily this ball just keeps on rolling. Okay, I'm back up at the range. Obviously, I found Ernie Ells here. If Tiger doesn't make it, we got a good-looking swing to look at right here. I don't know, I've just heard a rumor Tiger might be showing up, so we're going to get ready up here. Yep, okay, here's Tiger in the um, autograph area just before he would come up on the practice range. All right, making his way to the range. You can see the crowds grew a little bit up here. So Tiger, I don't know if he's going to play or if he's just going to hit pitches, but he's over here hitting these little pitch shots. I've made my way back around over here, and... I didn't film every single one of these. He's in a little short one right now. This pitch here is probably 40 yards, and believe it or not, he's just made hold out two of these in a row. So the yip questions are probably no longer an issue. I'm going to make my way over to the golf course and get ready for these guys to tee off. Okay, so Amira's caddy's on the tee, so I think I know we got uh, Tiger and Mark probably going to play a practice round together. We'll catch Ernie here real quick before those guys go off. Great smooth swing. All right, the men of the hour here. 
This doesn't need much commentary. I'm just going to kind of sit back and we'll watch. This place is just electric now. Uh, everybody stayed around. It's actually 4.30 in the afternoon. Nobody thought he'd stick around to play this late, but I'm glad I stayed. All right, here we go. Tigers return to the Masters 2015. Down the line on number one. Okay, pulled it just a little. We're going to now give this swing to you again in slow motion. I actually just went back and edited this real quick so we could grab it and show it to you in slow-mo. It's kind of a treat to watch this guy play now. We kind of grow accustomed to him winning everything and being out here every week and we realize that he's not bulletproof so we take these chances when we get them. Alright, I'm going to make my way down now to uh, number three. All right, here we are at the number three tee box. Crowds are getting crazy, kind of hard to even get a position to film these guys from, but hold the camera over everybody's head here. Oh, Big hit. Okay, now O'Meara. Third hole used to be a hole you could tee off with an iron or a fairway wood, but now a lot of guys hit drivers. Go get him, Tiger. Good luck, guys. Good luck, Tiger. Come back, Tiger. All right, gang, there you have it. That's uh, the Masters practice rounds for 2015. Uh, that's the Monday practice rounds. That's the only day I could make it this year. I hope you liked it. Uh, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Like the video. Give it a thumbs up. Leave your comments below. Uh, if you want to see more like it, go to my YouTube channel. That's youtube.com slash Herman Williams Or you can go to my website at hermanwilliamsgoff.com.